Okay, so another C++ cast is the const cast. Out of all casts, well, like all casts, you should use it sparingly. And out of all the casts, this is probably the cast that you want to use the least of. But once in a while, the situation arises where you just have to take the way, take away constness. So look here, I have this cow instance on the heap. And as far as I'm concerned, that instance is const because I said, hey, I'm going to have C be a pointer, and it's a const pointer. And remember, putting const out here means the object we're pointing to is const, as far as we're concerned. So let, let's let's uh, define another pointer here. So cal star c2 gets c, and the compiler is going to turn around and say, hey, um, you're trying to assign a const pointer to something that's non-const, meaning through c2 you can invoke non-const functions. You can mutate this instance out on the heap, and we have a restriction on C that you can't do that. So you just, I'm not going to allow you to do this cast. Let's build it here and it'll probably give us an error that doesn't make sense. But cannot convert from const cal to cal. Okay, well, <clears throat> that's why. We can't easily lift this restriction. But as a programmer, again, with cast, we're being more explicit. We have to tell the compiler, I know what I'm doing. Um, so then we go in here and we state, not static cast, we say const cast. Uh, I just want to say it's a cal pointer. It's not a... It's not a um, a const cal pointer. It's just a normal cal pointer. So now, notice this builds fine. So probably, like probably many of the things you've seen in the latest videos, you're scratching your head. I hope you are. Thinking, why would I ever want to remove const? Isn't there a reason we have const? Don't we want to protect our data? Well, yeah, usually. But once in a while, um, well, this is one case. Or it's rare, but this is one case. You'll get some function that takes a cow star and the function in here won't do anything with I mean it'll call const functions on C so let's say C I think we had say something in one of the previous videos and say something was const so let's go here and put it back in public uh, void say something whoopsie void say something and you can fill in the filler um, but basically, say something's not going to modify any data members of cal. So really, say something should have been const. But the programmer of cal, me, I guess, in this case, screwed up and didn't put const out here like I should have. Anyway, so so notice f really isn't doing anything bad with cal. It's not calling any non-const functions. But the problem is, whoever de defined f didn't say const out here. Let's say I really, really, really need to pass this C to F. I can't just say F C here because uh, it's, it's the same problem we had before with the when when we didn't have this const cast. It's saying, hey, C is a const pointer, and you're trying to convert it to a non-const pointer. So in this case, we would be justified, though we should be shy at doing so. We should we would be justified at casting the constness away, and then um, this builds and runs. Just fine. Anyway, that's a const cast. Again, tuck it away, hide it, and pull it out once in a blue moon.